First of all, uh, stable direct returns is uh, the most important key driver for a lot of investors. Uh, in the last few years, the initial yields uh, yeah, get better. And the, yeah, the fundamentals of the Dutch market are quite good. Where's the mic? Yeah. Um, lower level of uh, vacant possession value. Uh, in the perspective of um, yeah, sh uh, scarcity uh, within the market, there's low construction volumes. So yeah, the, the, the basics are good in the, in the Dutch. Oh, and yeah, just coming to you there. What what are you, what are you seeing in in terms of what are you seeing from the investors? Uh, uh, what's what's driving them to, to to focus more on on more on residential? Okay, a number of things. I think um, first of all, I think Marcus already mentioned it. Is the bonds yield gap? So what what kind of returns do you make on your fixed income portfolio, which drives them away in search for yield? But at the same time, they're very cautious. So they're looking for those type of investments which produce uh, a nice stable income, you know, also in terms of capital preservation. That's really driving them uh, their behavior. And as most of them are accustomed to having uh, exposure to direct real estate, they tend to look to the market and make the equation thinking what will be the best play in there, and then residential comes out. But it is true that in the UK market, it's particularly if you look at the investing in London and the Southeast, the it is still positive regarding to bond yields, but the cash and cash yield is not very high. However, you have some investors that are willing to take a bit of development risk to get a hold on, uh, of assets in good locations. So some investors are a bit less, I mean, a bit more opportunistic, uh, but they are very much long-term investors. Uh, prepared to invest in, you know, building this, uh, these, uh, these assets in order then to just hold them long term. Okay, so what's the sort of time so horizon? So sovereign wealth funds, funds that have been very active in that, uh, in that arena in, the U in, 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 in London particularly. Okay, and what's the kind of time horizon on that? Are they looking at 15, 20, 30 years? How, what, what's the sort of time horizon for, for those investors? So I think they, they are looking at very long term, so 30 years onward, uh, but that doesn't uh, stop them uh, if it's a large scheme to still divest from some of the part of the scheme early on by selling the units one by one. So they can book a sort of development uh, profit on part of the scheme and then hold the rest longer term as a rental, as multifamily stock.